everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, my name is Megan. I am a full-time freelance illustrator. And this video is going to be all about how I organize my personal life as well as my work stuff all through Notion. I love Notion. <laughs> Genuinely, I use it every single day. I think it's an amazing tool. It's completely transformed the way I organize. And that is why I am so, so overjoyed to share that Notion is partnering with me on this video. If you don't know what Notion is, Notion is like a digital workspace kind of. Um, it's highly customizable. I've seen people use it as like a planner. That's pretty much how I use it. Um, but I've also seen people use it to take notes. My sister is in law school and she uses Notion also every single day. And she takes like really beautiful notes there. She prepares for her finals in there and her essays. So before we get into my tour and I show you guys how I use Notion, I wanna do a little bit of a planning history just so you know Know, like how I used to organize before I got to Notion. Back in the day, I would use physical planners, but I always found that those planners and agendas were never enough for me. Like I always wanted some place to write down a bunch of lists or like books I wanted to read, ideas. And I was never able to have the space for that in like traditional planners. I remember one year I tried bullet journaling and I also found that super overwhelming, just having to create all those little lines by myself. And it was also like super time consuming too. I've also tried other digital planning things like Google Calendar and I always found that they didn't have like the ease of use that Notion does and they're also not as cute and I find that like aesthetics is really important to me um, it just makes me want to use it more so I found that Notion kind of checks all these boxes that my previous planning systems weren't able to do so without further ado let's get into the tour I'm gonna make myself small and bring up the image of my Notion so you're gonna notice that one this is not a Notion tutorial. There are plenty of amazing tutorials online. Um, this is just like a tour and I just wanna show you guys how I use it. You'll notice that my Notion is kind of like a bullet journal um, and it has other stuff in it as well. So if you look at the sidebar here, I have favorites of like some of my favorite pages. So I have like my 2022 page that has all of my months and weeks in it. It has the current week, my current month, my calendar, some shop admin. I keep a lot of tasks in there. Um, I have a lot of shared pages as well. I share stuff with my partner, Robert, because we live together. Um, so like my meals and chores I share with him. Um, and here are some more pages. So if you look in this planner archive area, I have all of my years. So I'm going on my third year of using Notion, which is really cool. So this page is kind of like my home landing page, I guess. I've seen people have like really cute and I don't know, customized home pages, but this is just what works for me. So here on the corner, I have goals. <laughs> I just put like find accountant and work-life balance just as some like two broad goals. I actually found an accountant so I could check that off for sure. Um, and on the right, I have my collection of months. On Notion, you can do a thing where you can configure like buttons to auto-generate like pages. Uh, which I think is super cool. So for example, if I hit new month, it'll auto generate my month template, which comes with like this new week button. So if I hit new week, so when I go in, everything is like set up for me to like input the dates and whatever tasks I need to do, which I think is really nice. I love that about Notion. So like, I'm like an actual bullet journal. I don't have to like write out everything. It just is already there for me. So yeah, I love how customizable Notion is and just how you can make it really efficient for yourself. Um, so let's go into June and see what we got. We're only halfway through June, so I only have two weeks here. You'll notice that I have really cute icons up there. I drew those icons myself. I made them today actually for my patrons. Um, and yeah, if you didn't know, you can really customize Notion by putting your own images in. If you hit this, like you can see like a bunch of cute emojis too. So um, yeah, I just find that like you can make it look really cute. Also, if you hit this, these buttons up here, you can like change the font. You can also add a cover, but I kind of like this minimal look. On this page, I also have like a random brain dump. You'll find that like, I, I found that like I use Notion in the same way that I am. Like I am organized, but like a little messy sometimes. Um, so yeah, I just kind of like randomly put this here. I was just like, mm, I want to maybe think about like getting envelopes made. And I just like wrote all that stuff down right there. And down here, another thing I love about Notion is that you can embed what they call databases um in different pages so this is my calendar and i can basically paste it 
in different locations. So it's in my June month but my calendar is also here, which is also like a weekly spread. Um, it's the same calendar, which I think is awesome. This is what a average weekly spread looks like for me. This little house up here is made by Cheyenne Barton, the amazing, amazing Cheyenne. Uh, but yeah, if you look at here, um, I just write out the date. I keep it like super nice and clean. Another thing I love about Notion is these things called breadcrumbs. So I basically have all these pages nestled in each other, if that makes sense. So I can click out to June. I can click out to 2022. If that makes sense. Like all my pages are organized, which I think is super, super cool. And you're able to put in cute things. So for example, I have this dancing cat and like from Animal Crossing. And every time I see him, I'm like, mm. I have a focus this week column. I guess last week I didn't have a super focus, but sometimes I like to just type in one to two things because I'm the kind of person that is very, very good at stressing myself out. So if I type out like a bajillion tasks, it really stresses me out. And I found that just typing like two big, one to two big focuses for the week is really nice for me. So for example, I could just type like, make a comic, organize, shop. Another super cool thing about Notion is that I can highlight this and you can turn into all these different things. You can turn it into a page, a heading, a numbered list, a toggle list. Um, what I love doing is to-do lists. So I can literally turn it into a to-do list just like that, um, but I don't wanna do that. <laughs> um, and I love that when you check something off, it like gets crossed out, you know what I mean? Like the UI or I don't know, what is it, UI UX? It's just like really pleasant to use. Um, and it's also super easy to drag stuff around. Like if I wanted to do something for my shop and I was just like, oh, I'll do it on Tuesday, I can just like drag it into Tuesday, if that makes sense. On the side here, I've divided like three main categories for tasks. So there's like patron responsibilities. I got my shop responsibilities and also miscellaneous. So that's like personal life things sometimes. Um, so yeah, I'll just type out like, I don't know, post mail, like something like that. And I'll put that there um, if I don't know what day I wanted to go in. Down here, I like take random notes. So I was filming a podcast um, for Patreon and I just needed a space to just like dump my thoughts and I just do it at the bottom of my week. But yeah, let's look at this calendar. I love this calendar because it's like my calendar that I can just paste in different locations. So I've been using this same calendar for quite a while. Something I recently started doing is adding tags, which I think is so fun. Like it just looks nice. Um, and it just helps me like, kind of like visualize what I need to do. So you can see that I have like a Patreon tag. I also have a YouTube tag and a sponsor tag. So I know what dates I need to get things up by. And it's super easy to add. You just click this. Um, these are all, these all actually open as pages as well. So if I wanted to like make a list of like things to do for my mom, it, it'd be so easy to just be like, hmm, buy flowers, call mom. You know what I mean? I can click out um, and I know all of that is in there. And also tags are great. So I can just say like, this is an event. I can also say B-Day. And then this shows up on the outside, which I think is so awesome. Another thing for the calendar I find really convenient is that you can add times too. So I have therapy at 11, so I can also include a time. I could say this is at 11 a.m. 11 Tags, I have a therapy tag already. And you actually get to see 11 a.m. right there, which I think is amazing. You can also have multi-day things, so I can easily drag this if I wanted my sketchbook tour to be four days long. Um, and yeah, I can just like move this around and it's just really easy to, I just find like the, the software or whatever is just like really intuitive. Something I randomly started doing for this week is I put a little board in the corner here. I love these little drag and drop boards. Um, it just really helps like you can add as many columns as you want in here So if I wanted to do like a in progress column, I could I'll just put that in the middle in the middle And if I was in the middle of making icons, I could just put that there and it's just like a nice way to visualize um, Work, I guess. So yeah, that's pretty much what my month to month weekly planning spreads look like. In September, 2021, I actually had a different kind of system. It looked a little bit different. 
Um, I feel like I've been able to kind of edit my notion as time has gone on. So I used to have a monthly goals and monthly tasks here, but I just find that I didn't really need it. So I just got rid of it and I don't use that anymore. <laughs> so I find that it's like, it's really nice to be able to like, I also had like a, a toggle here so I could type out like monthly reviews. So I could be like, September was a great month. And I could type out whatever I wanted and kind of use it in a journaly way and then just hit this toggle to hide it which I think is super cool. But sometimes I want to get even more organized. Um, so this is a good example of that. Here is my shop admin dump, I guess. Um, I made this because during my shop update season, I found that I was um, losing a lot of orders. I would see like, oh no, um, so-and-so needs their bag and I didn't ship it. And I was just having so much of that. And I found that I really needed a way to organize all that information so I wouldn't forget. So I have this now. You can also hide all the completed too if you don't want to look at it. So I put not started because I don't have anything right now, but I would be like, oh, ship out Megan's order by this day. And then when I'm doing it, I can hit in progress. So yeah, it's just a good way of keeping track of stuff. When it's done, I'll just put it in completed. And for YouTube, oh my God, I've made this blueberry today. He's so cute. <laughs> um, but sometimes I, if I have more of a talking video that's not a vlog, I like to just make a page and I just put all the stuff that I want to talk about. So it's basically, I put YouTube scripts down here. Um, and yeah, sometimes I want like a notebook space and Notion works great for that. So as you can see, like you can really do whatever you want with it. Moving along, this is my Studio Meggie page, which hosts more pages. <laughs> um, so here's where I have more of a planning space that's not like my day to day, it's other kinds of planning. So for example, when I wanted to launch my Patreon over a year ago, I made this page. Um, I have this toggle thing. I said what artists I like are doing because when I wanted to launch my Patreon, I wanted to see what other people were doing so I could model it after things that I liked. So like I went, I took notes, like I looked at Cheyenne's Patreon, I look at Radia's, Lee's, Tiffany's, Vicky's. I just kind of looked at what they were offering at each tier and I was able to like take notes on it here. And then here I was able to write out like my potential tiers. Another great thing about Notion is that you can like make text bigger, larger, change the color, change the background of the text. You can also make new columns just by like highlighting what you want and holding it here and boom, that made like a third column. Um, so yeah, it's, it's pretty cool on like how you can lay out information on the page. Um, I also had like a really nice to-do list because I found there was like so much to keep track of. So I divided it by marketing stuff benefits to do, finance things I wanted to keep track of, the launch. <laughs> so you can see like all of these tasks that I wrote out. Um, I didn't finish checking them off, but like, let's check them off now. <laughs> Another cool thing about these databases that your calendar is technically a database. Um, so yeah, if you wanted to view like all of your events as in a table format, that's also available to you, uh, which I don't do because Calendar just makes more sense to me. Um, I plan all of my shop updates in Notion as well. So let's, let's check out what I was doing in 2021. So in April, this is pretty intense. I guess I needed to keep track of like all the um, progress and all the earrings I was making because I used to make handmade earrings. So here I made a table of like the different kinds of names of the earrings. You can also put um, this little to-do checkbox in a table. So I would check off, it was painted, glazed, or assembled. Um, and yeah, I would do like the amount of them here. It's pretty cool how I organized this. I also have another table because people wanted to reserve some. Oh, and I made notes for my next update at the bottom, which is fun too. For planning my shop updates lately, they haven't been as intense. For my most recent shop update in May, also this cute little icon is also from Cheyenne, by the way. Shout out Cheyenne Barton one more time. <laughs> um, super cute icons. But anyways, I wanted to see how much I spent on my update because I had a feeling I was spending a lot on merch. So I made this table. Um, I also put a little column for arrive. It's super easy to add these columns too. You just tap this. Um, you do the type. You can do a number, select, multi-select, date, person if you work with multiple people. Um, but I just hit checkbox and then you're able to change this as like, did it yet? And yeah. It's super easy to add these columns in. Notion does math too. <laughs> so I told it to add up the sum of all of my costs and it came to $1,991, which is a lot of money. Um, down here, I wrote out a list of like my new products. 
um, some product photos I needed to take pictures of. Ooh, also down here, I wanted, while I was doing research for new manufacturers, I was able to embed these links in, which was really nice. Um, I didn't end up going with all of these, but it was cool that I could use Notion to like put in my links so I didn't have to go back and search for them. Now that we've gone over a lot of work-related stuff, um, chores is something that is a big part of my life. Like everyone's gotta do chores. And because I live with my partner, me and Robert um, worked on this together. Um, and we went over basically all of the things that get done in our household. And we went, we didn't finish color coding it, but we kind of used the colors as being like, okay, I'll do this and you'll do this. And it was a nice way to like divide responsibility. So it's never like a question of like whose job it is to do what. And yeah, I also put this mini calendar down as well, just to have like an idea of like what an ideal week would look like. Um, we didn't finish doing this, but it was nice to like have that visual while we were discussing it together. Um, and yeah, and this also is shared with Robert, which is really nice. I love that you can like share pages with people and work on it at the same time. Um, in meals, I have my grocery list and at the bottom I have some like meal ideas. This is not a very organized list, um, but it's nice to have like a list of dishes I like making. Um, so if I ever forget, if I ever feel kind of uninspired on a day, I'll just scroll down here. I can also add to it. Um, here is a example grocery list from a few weeks ago. Um, I love that you can use Notion on your phone. So basically what Robert and I do is that we both have Notion on our phone and we walk around the grocery store individually and we like check stuff off and like it updates. So I can be like, oh, he got the kale. Let me go get this. <laughs> if we go back to like my life 2022 page down here, I have some more lists of things. Um, when Rover and Cosmo were coming, my two kitties, uh, before they came, Robert and I, um, worked on some of these boards together. So we kind of grouped up a bunch of to-do lists. So we were looking at stuff to buy. So I wrote down all of these things. Um, I was like, ooh, how do we catify the apartment? I made a list as well. Um, and I had like some to-dos. I like buy stuff, cat-proof the doors, monitor plants, find local vet, um, and so on, which I thought was really sweet. Another thing is here, I was starting out a list of some of my mom's recipes because I really love my mom's cooking and I wanted to learn some of her go-to recipes. Like I said before, this table, all of these things can turn into pages. So if I open this as a page, the recipe's there, which I think is a great way to like organize food recipes. Um, and I also have tags too. So um, I tag this as like meat and protein but I'm going to add more recipes as time goes on. So when if I ever have like a bunch of stuff here, I could just type like meat and obviously this one would show up, which I think is really, really cool. So that was my full Notion setup. I'm going to leave a link in my description that you guys can visit if you want to check out and try Notion for yourself. I cannot recommend it enough, if not evidenced by the fact that I used it every single day for like the past two years plus. <laughs> Yeah, another thing I love about Notion is that I can use it for not only work stuff, but also life stuff. You guys know I talk about work, work life balance a lot on my channel. Um, I'm not someone who's like obsessed with being productive all the time. I want to make sure I have time in my life to like enjoy and just like live life. Um, so I use Notion to like plan out vacations with my sister. I've used Notion to like schedule meals I'm gonna make throughout the week, like stuff I wanna buy for myself. Um, so yeah, it's, I love that Notion is just like a tool that I can use for whatever I want, which involves like cultivating like work stuff, but also life stuff. Also again, thank you so much to Notion for sponsoring this video dream collab for me. Okay, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you so much. If you enjoyed this video, you feel free to check out some of my other ones. I have plenty of videos. Um, highly recommend you like and subscribe. I normally don't tell people to subscribe, but like, why not? I would recommend subscribing. I think my channel is pretty cool. I'll see you in my next one. Take care and yeah. Bye.